So now we can consider orbital mechanics. So orbital mechanics is just the mechanics of an object which is in orbit. So let's consider a satellite with a mass little m, which is orbiting a planet with a mass capital M, a distance r away. So little r is the distance between the center of the planet and the satellite. So we've already seen that the gravitational potential energy U is given by U is equal to minus G M M on R. Now we can also calculate the kinetic energy for this satellite. So we know that kinetic energy is given by a half MV squared. Now to come up with a nice expression for this, let's remember that this satellite is following a circular path and so it's undergoing uniform circular motion and the only force that is actually acting upon that satellite is the gravitational force. So the centripetal acceleration is all caused by that gravitational force. So we can write, well, the force is equal to the centripetal force, which is mv squared on r, which is equal to the gravitational force, which is g m m on r squared. So from this, we can see that mv squared is equal to g m m on r, just cancelling out the one on r from those two terms. And so we can say, well, a half of mv squared is going to be a half of g m m on r. And so our kinetic energy must be equal to g m m divided by 2r. So if we've got the potential energy and the kinetic energy, we can then work out the total mechanical energy, which is just the sum of these things. So we can write, well, E is equal to U plus K, and this is going to be equal to minus GMM on R plus GMM on 2R. So summing these two gives us minus GMM on 2R.